joined Peter O'Sullivan. They're under orders, and they're away. And saint Gervais has gone straight into the lead. saint Gervais, the odds-on favourite, has gone into the lead. Silver Wisp going up on his inside. Saddler's Hall's on the outer. Then comes Opera House. Behind them comes Sapiens. Then Jern making a run towards the front from the rear. The two back markers are Rock Hopper and Terriman and saint Gervais and Stephen Crane being pressed now by Sapiens. It's quite a slow pace. Stephen obviously is trying to uh, slow them down in the early stages. As Sapiens goes up on his inside, then right up there on the outside is Saddler's Hall. Silver Wisp holding his place on the inner. Just in behind them come Opera House. The back marker still is Terraman. And saint Gervais on the outside of Sapiens in second. Then Saddler's Hall on the outside of Opera House. Behind them comes Jeanne, who's moved ahead of Silver Wisp, who's lost a bit of ground. And then comes Rock Hopper and finally Terraman racing out of Swinley Bottom and racing now towards the seven furlong marker and as they do so it's still saint Gervais. saint Gervais, the leader from Sapiens in second and Stephen Crane keeping right out of trouble saint Gervais from Sapiens then on the outside comes Opera House making a forward move. Saddler's Hall comes next, and then behind him comes Jern, and then Silver Wisp, on whom Paul Edery hasn't moved yet. Then Rock Hopper, and finally Terraman. And saint Gervais now being chased by Opera House, who moves into second. Sapiens on the inside, but going third now is Jern, who moves up on the outside. Sapiens four and five, Saddler's Hall. Little gap to Silver Wisp, who's got a lot to do, has been chasing along now, and who's not getting anywhere. Saint Gervais, the odds on favourite, races towards the home turn. The clear leader from Opera House, Jern. Sapiens on the inner. Then comes Saddler's Hall. A gap to Silver Wisp. You can almost count him out of it. Then comes Rock Hopper and finally Terraman. And all by himself, Saint Gervais, the favourite, is well clear. The Budweiser Irish Derby winner from in second place. Opera House, third on the outside, making good progress now with Saddler's Hall. Then comes Sapiens in fourth, racing into the closing stages, and saint Gervais and Stephen Crane have it absolutely sewn up. The King George the Sixth and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes of 1992 is one of furlong out, and saint Gervais strides clear. It's going to be close for the minor placings, but at the line, saint Gervais wins it brilliantly. Second is Saddler's Hall, third Opera House, four Sapiens, five is Rockhopper, six, seven and eight are Terraman, Silver Wisp and Jern. And so the result of the 1992 King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. First, number eight, saint Gervais, owned by Mrs. Virginia Croft Payson, trained by Jim Bulger and written by Stephen Crane after his first ride in the race. Second was number three, Saddler's Hall, owned by Lord Weinstock, trained by Michael Stout and written by Willie Carson. And third was number one, Opera House, owned by Sheikh Mohammed, trained by Michael Stout and written by Steve Cawthon. And fourth, running for the third successive year, was number four, Sapiens, and William Hill immediately gives saint Gervais. Here he is, a seven to four quote for the Arc de Triomphe. So Stephen Crane follows the example of Walter Swinburne in 1981, Michael Roberts in 1988, Alan Munro in 1991, who all won the King George, the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes on their very first ride. The 34-year-old rider from the Island Man, Stephen Crane, seldom had a moment's worry as saint Gervais became the first since 1977 to be an Irish trained winner of this great race. Another magnificent performance by saint Gervais, who had to do it the hard way, had to make his own running. He's dictated the race, turning in. Steve Cawthon on Opera House seemed to be going almost as well, but this horse has got extra gears, and when Stephen Crane's asked him to quicken, he's asked to quicken him twice, three times. He's gone right away from his rivals. Saddler's Hall's battled on into second place. Opera House has run the race of his life in third place, perhaps not getting home. Sapiens has run a terrific race. Rock Hopper came with a chance at the furlong, but couldn't quicken again. But in the end, Jimmy, a one-horse race and a magnificent six-length winning performance. If you've got the class under you, you might as well do it from the front as the back, Julian. He's had no traffic to come through. He's dictated his own pace. But let's go back to the second uh, Saddler's Hall and also the third Opera House. That was a terrific race for second, but this horse today has stamped himself the best three-year-old in Europe, without a doubt.
He went off at five to four on this son of Pleasant Colony out of Northern Sunset by North Fields. Being led in by his proud lad, Pat O'Donovan, this outstanding horse, the first since the minstrel to become an Irish trained winner of the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes. Winner now of six of his nine races. There was, in fact, a photograph for fourth place, but uh, Sapiens has confirmed uh, fourth. So, 34 year old Stephen Crane from the Island Man deputising for Christy Roach achieves an unbelievable feat having only been booked yesterday to ride this horse in the prize worth 261,216 pounds congratulated there by